Hi, I'm Jolene Linson, Education Director at Historic Arkansas Museum. And as the holidays approach, we always start thinking about um, those homemade sweets that we have around this time of the year, like fudge and cookies and all the other types of homemade candies that we have. So today, I am going to show you how to make a fudge recipe from the family cookbook of William Woodruff. We have the cookbook in our collection, and it's just a compilation of all of the recipes from the Woodruff family, handwritten, and our curator went through and transcribed them for us. So now we have the recipes, and recipes from that time are really fun because they usually don't give all of the directions. So this one gives us the ingredients and the amounts, and then all it says is for us to boil eight minutes over the stove fire and whip, and then we add the cream of tartar while boiling. And that is all of the instructions we have. So we're going to um, make this today. We're going to um, put everything, the um, sugar, molasses, butter, um, milk, vanilla, and chocolate into our pan and get that boiling so that we can add our cream of tartar. All right, so now I'm gonna add the two cups of sugar. There's two cups. Next, we have three squares of um, chocolate. We have a tablespoon of butter. We're gonna add, now there is no measurement for the vanilla. So I am just putting in a teaspoon because that is what a lot of recipes call for. We have three-fourths of a cup of milk. Then we're gonna add a fourth of a cup of molasses, which is a very strange ingredient, I think, for a fudge. I've never seen a fudge recipe that called for molasses. I'm actually gonna use this. Get it all out. All right, so we have everything in here but the chopped nuts and the cream of tartar. I'm gonna go ahead and let it start cooking and let it cook a little bit before I add the, the nuts into it. We've been cooking for a few minutes and the chocolate and the butter have melted, the sugar's melted and we've got a, a good liquid here. We're just waiting now for it to start boiling. And I'm gonna stir it occasionally just to um, keep it from sticking. So we are boiling now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my timer on for eight minutes. Stir. I'm gonna go ahead and add our cream of tartar. So it says a pinch, I just did a little, probably did one pinch, but two small pinches. So the recipe doesn't specify when to put the nuts in or what kind of nuts to use. I put walnuts because that's what I always think of with fudge is adding walnuts. And I just measured out some. You can put as many as you want. It doesn't say how many to use. It doesn't say what to do with it when you get done. So I have buttered a pan with some aluminum foil in it. And I am going to take it off of the heat and pour it into the pan. And I'm gonna get the rest of it in there. coming out and what I'm gonna do is put it in the refrigerator and let it get cool so again I'm Jolene Linson with Historic Arkansas Museum I hope you enjoy enjoyed seeing how um, William Woodruff's family would have made fudge back in the late 18 early 1900s and I hope you remember to join us on Sunday December 5th for our frolic at ham it's from 12 to 4 and we will be handing out the fudge recipe